So if uh, x is a random variable with uh, some given range r, then we have this notation probability capital X equal to lowercase x denoting the probability of the random variable x taking on the value small x, where small x is a real variable. As this probability depends on x, it's really a function of x. And we can save some characters by simply writing this as f of x, also making it more clear that it's a function of x. And this function f is called the probability distribution function of the random variable x. For example, if you toss a fair dice and let x be the result of the toss, then we have f of x being equal to 1 over 6 if x is any of these values 1 through 6 and if we're outside the range then f of x is equal to 0. For a slightly more interesting example, let's say I flip a fair coin three times. Each coin flip has two possible outcomes, so I have a total of 2 to the 3, that is 8 possible outcomes in this case. These are the 8 possible cases. I could get 3 heads in a row, get 2 heads and a tail, and so on. With a fair coin, each outcome is equally likely, and so each outcome has a probability of 1 over 8. All I need to do to get the probability distribution function is to figure out the value of x for each of these eight possible outcomes. So for the first case, three heads, I have zero tails. Then I have one tail, one tail, two, one, two, two, and three. So we can see that the range of x is zero, one, two, or three. f of zero, the probability that I'll get zero heads is 1 over 8. There is just one case where I get 0 tails and that is if I toss 3 heads in a row. f of 1, the probability of getting one tail, well that can happen in three different ways, here, here, and here. So that probability is 3 over 8. In the same way we get that f of 2 is 3 over 8 and f of 3 is 1 over 8 sum all these numbers and you get 1 as you're supposed to and we can also add that f of x is equal to 0 for all other values of x. It's quite common to skip this last sentence as it's implicitly understood. It's quite common to plot the probability distribution function of a discrete random variable using a picture like this. Then we have x on the x-axis. We can easily identify the range of x. We have seven different possible values for x. And the y-axis measures the probability for each value of x. From this diagram, we can see, for example, that the most like value is x equal to 2, with the probability close to 30%. And the least likely value is x equal to 6 with the probability of less than 5%.